Hello everyone, it's First Friday Finances with Rita. This is the first Friday of April. And I must admit, this week is in the Christian tradition, Holy Week, and today is Good Friday. And because I was literally trying to spend as much time as possible, quiet and reflective this week, I did not record for you a First Friday share. And I've been doing this for several months, so I wanted to keep my word with that. However, I probably will not post this until Monday. So when you hear this, it'll be Monday. So what do I want to share from a financial perspective? Sometimes I get the question asked, should I open a Roth or an Index Universal Life account? And I would say it depends. It depends on what your goal is and what you're looking for. I will say this, a couple of important differences. With an Index Universal Life, there are no contribution limits. As with a Roth, there are contribution limits. With an Index Universal Life, you have the option of securing living benefits, which is a life insurance um, solution where you don't have to die to use the life insurance. So should you incur a critical chronic or terminal illness, you would also um, have access to the funds in case you did through an index universal life policy, which that's not the case with a Roth. Another thought that comes to mind for me with an index universal life policy, it grows tax deferred, as well as the distribution is tax free. So you want to consider that. Of course, there are wonderful tax um, benefits with a Roth IRA as well. But at any rate, whether or not you would choose a Roth or an Index Universal Life Policy, it really does depend on what your goals are. So I invite you to reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. The goal is to secure what's best for you. Blessings.